Hi, and welcome to another episode of Tool Talk. I'm Mark, the Window Cleaner. This show brought to you by WindowCleaningResource.com. Uh, today is kind of a unique show in that I'm going to review a product that Window Cleaning Resource doesn't actually sell. Uh, but if you're a window cleaner out there and you've ever spent any time in front of late night television or week, weekend, Saturday, Sunday television, you've no doubt sat in front of an infomercial talking about the Sham Wow. Wow, the Sham Wow. Sham Wow is basically advertised as a towel that will replace all your paper towel needs for years and years to come because this towel absorbs so much liquid. Okay, now just like you, you know, we watch these TV infomercials and we're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, sure, it, you know, time lapse photography, sure, it, it, it soaks up liquid so fast, it soaks up so much liquid, yeah, yeah, trick photography. And, you know, so I was skeptical. Uh, however, it's always nagged me in the back of my head how many uh, wipe-up towels I go through during the course of a day, a week, a month, all those laundry loads, washing those terry towels. Uh, I know some of you guys there might use a sea sponge or something to wipe up, and you know that's a good idea, and I'm going to be uh, looking at that in another show. But like I said, I wanted a towel to replace a lot of my wipe-up towels. So when I walked into a Canadian tire store, Canadian reference for all you Canucks out there, um, they had this sitting on the shelf in a little package, same kind of package they sell on the infomercial. You get two of these big towels, you get two smaller towels, 20 bucks plus tax. Okay, what do I got to lose besides 20 bucks? Ah, it's a tax right up. Just buy it. Okay, so I've been using it now for about three weeks and uh, I've been faithfully trying to keep it as my wipe up towel. And here's what I think about it. First of all, if you see in the infomercial, uh, they spill a bunch of soda on a carpet and you know, they just press this thing down and of course time lapse photography, a few seconds later they lift it up and soda's all gone, it's all in this towel. Well, the truth is this towel will soak up the amount of soda that you see spilt on that rug. However, it does not do it nearly as fast as what you see in the commercial and this is a very important note to to, uh, when you're going to use it for window cleaning as a wipe up towel, don't just think you can just quickly put the towel down, wipe you down, and move on to the next window. Um, just like any other towel out there, you have to, you know, you might wipe it slowly and take a look and then flip it over and then just give it one last go. That's basically what it comes down to. It does absorb a lot, but not nearly as fast as what you see in the commercial. Um, another thing, uh, using this for window cleaning, uh, you might be thinking to yourself, gee, maybe it would make a great detailing towel. I'd say fresh out of the box, uh, actually not fresh out of the box, I've got to tell you first of all, before I go any further, never use it fresh out of the box. Once you get it home, you got to wash it two, three, four times, just you know, rinse it in warm water, that'll get all the dyes out of it and get it all prepared for absorbing the, water, the liquid. Okay, now about using it as a detailing towel. Uh, one of the problems with this towel is that it picks up little bits of debris and because of the, the, the fabric style, the little bit of debris can actually stick onto the towel, which kind of can get a little annoying. And of course, if you're trying to detail a window, nice, you know, finish off the edge nicely, you got a little bit of debris on there, like little flecks of paint, a little, you know, whatever crud that you've picked up from the tracks, you don't want to be putting that back onto the window. Um, as far as using it for a wipe-up towel, like I said, it holds a lot of water. It's great. I just, it's a pretty big towel. I hang it on my uh, hammer loop, uh, on my tool belt, and I try to keep it away from the body because with it absorbing a lot of water, of course, if it, you got it close up to your leg or in your pocket, it's going to wet your pants, you're going to be cold, you're going to be wet and uncomfortable. If you do find that this towel gets quite soiled, you can easily just dunk it in your bucket bring it out, uh, rinse it out, rub it together, and just then wring it out. I was actually quite amazed at uh, you know how quickly this towel actually gets cleaned. I've been using this for three weeks now and I haven't even put it in the wash once. I just at the end of the day I go home, I throw it in the sink quickly with a little bit of warm water, give it a couple good rubs, wring it out, hang it over the bath uh, rail to, to dry out. The next day it's a perfect setup ready for being uh, used for that day. Now you know, in the beginning of this review, I started talking about you know how I wanted it to replace some of my other uh, wiping up towels to cut down the laundry, and I have to say, in, in uh, nine cases out of ten, I can pretty much use one of these uh, for a whole house 
uh, or in some cases even a whole day uh, as my wipe up towel. It may mean rinsing it a few times, rinsing it in clean water a couple of times, uh, but it, it, like I said, you know, it replaces a lot of uh, the terry towels. And uh, you know, this in combination with a good detailing towel will really, really cut down on laundry, really uh, speed up your work because you're not running back to the truck or the car to grab uh, some fresh towels or go into your work bag or you don't have to have too many uh, towels on your belt so you can use your, uh, your belt for other uh, type of utilities. And I really like to promote the scrim again because you know what, you see these two towels here, this is a real powerhouse. You've got one towel that will last you all day uh, pretty much for for uh, wiping up all the excess water, sills, tracks, whatever, your frames. And then you've got this detailing towel. This thing, you know, the scrim, it's huge. It's, it's, it's lasts you at least a day. Uh, I can usually go two days be before I have to rinse this thing out. Um, and the scrim's also great for doing a little bit of polishing. Now, this isn't bad for polishing either. If it's slightly damp and there's no crud on there, and you do find a little bit of uh, uh, let's say a couple fingerprints or smudges or whatnot. You can actually buff it out quite well with the, uh, the sham wow. You can do the same with the, uh, the scrim. So you know, even if you don't have a scrim, maybe you have one of these and you have hot towels or surgical towels, you can still use this to uh, do a little bit of cleaning. Okay, so like I said in the beginning of the video, uh, Window Cleaning Resource uh, doesn't carry this particular product. And I, I can't foresee them actually going out and getting stocking up the Sham Wows. Uh, however, the Sham Wow is just a brand name. There's a lot of synthetic uh, sham, chamois towels out there, uh, and maybe uh, Chris and Alex will uh, look into those types of alternatives for uh, white up towels. And who knows? Maybe down, somewhere down the line, we might see a, a similar product to this on their shelves. Anyway, go up to windowcleaningresource.com. They've got all your window cleaning uh, needs up there. Uh, great uh, forum discussions. Learn everything you, you need to know about the business. Good marketing advice, pricing advice. Go to it. Bye for now.